I think you're right. The issue is that we do tend to look at leadership and leaders thereof in, in, in very different ways. And interpretations and definitions are important because that, that gives you a framework to work within, isn't it? So if you get your definition wrong, I think um, everything else that happens afterwards is wrong. Is that leadership is a process, okay? So if you ask what leadership is, most people turn around and say it's a person who drives an organization or a group of people towards a common objective. Now, the moment you say it's a person, you start fixating on one. And that's always the primary issue, right? But the moment you utilize the word process, right, that leadership is a process. Remember that leadership is a verb, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's not a noun. So the moment it's a verb, it has to be doing something. And what is it doing? So leadership is about, you know, guiding or facilitating a group of people towards meeting a common objective. The rest of the sentence is fine. But the moment you say leadership is a person who drives or facilitates an organization towards a common objective versus leadership is a process that drives an organization towards a common objective. The two of them makes a stark difference in how you view leadership. Now, the moment you say leadership is a process, hmm. by definition itself, whoever is involved in that process, in whatever way, in whichever small contribution they make, by definition itself is a leader. And I think that's what organizations need to understand. So the moment we change that definition, everything flips, right? So. Imagine if you turn around and say in any organization, leadership is a process, be involved in that process. So whatever you're doing as an organization, the moment someone's involved in it, by definition itself, you become a leader and that empowers you. You don't need someone to give you authority at that point. All you need is your involvement and your appreciation of what is taking place. So I think that to me makes a huge difference and it makes all the difference in the world, especially if you're you know, teaching leadership, because that makes ev every one of us an equal contributor in many ways towards that. So I think that that to me is my definition of it. Leadership is a process. And anyone who's involved in that process of ensuring that the organization meets its objectives, whatever the objectives might be, is a leader.